Now that we've programmed the parameters of game 84 into the instant ticket vending machine, I want to actually load a full book of tickets. It's always a good practice before you load books of tickets into the instant ticket vending machine, always check the inventory of the bin. You want to make sure the inventory is at zero. So let's check it now and see where it is. We come to the display. We want to make sure we're at select bin and we're at select bin 12 for this particular book. If you're not at select bin, you'd, you would hit the clear key a couple times to get back there because that would back you out of the menu. I'm at select bin and I'd like to go to show inventory. I can hit the plus key several times to get there or I can hit the minus key once and that brings me to show inventory. Again, there's a question mark on the display so I can answer yes by hitting the enter yes key. It's showing me the game ID for this bin and it's showing me that the inventory is actually 300 tickets for this bin. Well, I know that there are no tickets in this bin, so I certainly don't want to load a new book of tickets into a bin that's already registering at 300. So I'm going to zero this inventory out. I want to make sure before I load a full book of tickets that the inventory is at zero. So let me show you how to do that. I want to go back to select bin. Do you remember what key I hit to go back to select bin? Hopefully you said the clear key. So I'm going to hit the clear key twice and now I'm back to select bin. To zero out inventory I want to go to the options menu item. To go to options I'm going to hit the plus key to advance to that menu item. Here I'm at options and again there's a question mark so I'm going to hit the yes key. It's saying zero inventory with a question mark and it's telling me there's 300 tickets and I want to say yes, I'd like to zero that inventory. Now it's saying zero inventory. Let's double check and make sure that inventory is at zero before we load the tickets. I'm going to go back to select bin, so I'm going to hit the clear key twice. I'm at select bin, I'm going to hit the minus key once. It's saying show bin inventory and I'm going to answer yes. And it's telling me the bin is empty. So now we're ready to go to load the tickets. Let's go ahead now and load a full book of tickets. You'll want to make sure that the book is actually activated before you place it into the instant ticket vending machine. When you place it in the bin, please push it all the way to the back, face up, and pull the tickets up over the roller. Now we want to come to our display and again I always say select bin is home base so we want to be at select bin and making sure the select bin number is the same as the corresponding bin number. We want to advance through the main menu by pressing the plus key and we advance to load inventory and again there's our question mark so I'm going to answer yes by pressing enter yes. All of the information has already been programmed into the instant ticket vending machine. So this is actually really nice. It's telling us that it's game ID 84 and we know that so we'll enter, enter yes. It's giving us all the parameters now on the display. It's telling us the game ID, it's telling us that there's 300 tickets in a book, the size of the book, and the price of the book. So we're going to enter yes. Now it says to load bin 12 and then hit enter. When loading the tickets, place the ticket right inside and hold on to it while you're loading. You're going to hit enter, the tickets will catch, and we've now loaded a full book of instant tickets. If you have any problems loading your tickets into the bin, don't worry about the inventory. If you feel you've loaded 300 tickets and it didn't load properly, you can always zero out first and then go back and load again. For example, sometimes people forget to hold the ticket and it doesn't catch and the ITVM may have it programmed that there's 300 tickets in there and then when you load it again, now there's 600. When in doubt, always zero out the inventory and then start again. A nice feature of the 24 unit instant ticket vending machine is the barcode scanner. Let's load a full book of tickets, this time using the barcode scanner. You want to point the scanner at the specific bin that you're entering the tickets. We're going to use bin number 12 here. And you see there's two barcodes, one says load and one says unload. We're going to point the barcode scanner at the load bin and then press the button. 
and it registers on the display that this is game ID 84. You can continue to use your barcode scanner to scan, enter, or clear up here, or you can use your keypad. Different people have different preferences. Some people like to use a combination of both. We can enter yes for the game ID 84. And again, it's showing us all the same parameters that we are previously loaded for that game ID. We want to hit enter yes. And it's saying load bin 12, so I want to put my tickets right in place. I'm going to hold the tickets and then I'm going to hit enter yes. The full book is now loaded. Once you've loaded your books of instant tickets, whether it's a full book or a partial book, I want to emphasize how important it is to always check your inventory. Make sure your inventory is reflected the way you entered it, just in case you made a mistake along the way. To check the inventory, we always want to again start at select bin. If you're not there, you can hit the clear key a couple times to make sure you're there. To show inventory, it's part of the main menu. I'm going to hit the minus key once and that brings me to show bin inventory. I'm going to say yes and this is telling me there's 200 tickets. If for some reason that amount isn't what you wanted, it's not a problem. You can always zero out the inventory and add it again correctly. If you feel you ever need to zero your inventory, it's actually quite easy. You start at select bin. You advance through the main menu by hitting the plus key until you come to options. When you arrive at options, you're going to answer enter yes. The display will read zero inventory and you hit enter yes. The inventory is now zeroed out. Now I'm going to show you how to unload a book of tickets. We start at select bin and make sure the correct bin number that we want to unload is there. We're going to advance through the main menu by pressing the plus key. We continue to advance until we reach unload bin. And again, that's a question, so we're going to answer yes. Here we're going to hit the minus key. We hit the minus key and we've actually just unloaded the book of tickets. I'm now going to show you how to load the paper so you can print your reports. We start at select bin. We want to advance through the main menu by pressing the plus key until we get to options. At options we press enter yes. Now we're going to advance through a submenu, so we're going to press the plus key until we get to load paper with a question mark. Here we're going to take our paper and feed it through before we go any further. To feed the paper through, we want to make sure the little black lever is pushed forward. We feed the paper through behind the black roller until it comes out. When the paper comes out, we want to take the black lever and push it back towards the paper until we hear a clicking noise. Now we can hit enter yes and the paper will come through. And at this point we can press any key to stop. I'd like to show you how to print reports using the barcode scanner. Before you use the scanner, make sure you're in the select bin menu option on the display. It'll only work if you're on select bin. You take the barcode scanner and let's say let's print a shift report. We want to point directly at the barcode to the right of shift report. And the shift report is now printing. This concludes this training session on the Instant Ticket vending machine. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to contact your sales representative. If you're having any problems with your machine, please feel free to contact Hotline at 1-800-445-5825. Thank you.